Good morning, everybody. This is the progress on the 1956 Esselman build. Here's the steering box and the polished shaft. You'll see there's very little room there for clearance. This muffler is not going to stay on it. And been a, several hours grinding out these slotted holes right here and here. There's four of those. Got tape on the bottom of it, so I don't scratch my head. Primer back up. I'm going to be painting this frame here very shortly. That's the What you would call it. it's not a transmission it's just a pulley and bearings or bracket which runs this gear here and engine turns up here turning this belt there's a like a tunnel transmission tunnel on the estimate it goes the length of this belt underneath the car then there's a the chain goes on here down to the wheel it's kind of a crazy setup but I guess it worked back in the day but that is the frame the axle bolts here straight across the other side it has to be sandblasted this motor has electric start it's a 110 volt electric start which is going to be converted to a 12 volt starter but it's an upright Briggs and Stratton. So the starter's got 110 volt. And not sure if I'll leave it and use a convert an inverter, converter, whatever it's called. And there's a little key, that's just a little switch just to shut the motor off. But it also has the crank rope which will come through the dash and you can crank it from inside but that's how far I've gotten so far I'll show some views of the frame the, the slotted holes and I didn't like the original frame it was really in bad shape and like this hole was really rough and coarse this hole where the brake pedal goes on these slotted holes was just they was really I don't know what they cut them with, but they were crooked and it's really, really rough. They just spent no time. All they just want to do is get the motor mounted on it and get the belt on it. But another thing, this bracket, you can't see it in the video there, but you can maybe tell it's kind of pitted. I don't know if I'll be using it or if I'm going to fabricate another one of those. But everything else is still good. The pulley's good. Everything's sandblasted to look good. I may be able to grind this some and weld it back up. It's not cast. It's, it's just, I guess, mild steel. Someone's made in the past. I'll probably just make another one and be done with it. It'll look a lot better than having to wrestle with all that rough stuff. The muffler, it'll come off here. be like a little header. It'll come straight out this way and then down, like beside the frame. And if I don't do it there, it'll be a hole back here right in this area and it'll go down just past this brake pedal underneath and it'll come out the back right along in here underneath the, out the back and I'm gonna let it stick out maybe an inch two inch inch and a half but I'm thinking a little Volkswagen tailpipe we get clamped on it I think that'll look pretty good Put the small muffler underneath it, a little lawnmower muffler. Sound a lot better, be a little quieter than just that sticking out like that. All right, I'm gonna get off here and load this, and maybe on a cloudy day, I can make a better video.